on Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. up a second. Rob, the coffee's in the pot, the toast is on the table, and the eggs are in the oven. Honey, I don't care if the frost is on the pumpkin. I want you to wake up. <laughs> what is it? Well, honey, I want to ask you something very important. Well, what's the matter? Would you marry Mel Cooley? <laughs> oh, Rob. Honey, look at that. Rob. Uh, honey, turn around here and take a good look at your husband's head. Rob, why do you always pick the hours between 7 and 9 a.m. to get cute? Honey, I don't think it's very cute to be going bald. Going what? Going bald, honey. I'm losing my hair. Oh, Rob, come on. Look, I haven't told you about it, but I've been keeping track the last few weeks. Keeping track of what? Of my hair, honey. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to get upset about it. I'm not upset. Well, you're going to be when you see how fast they're going. <laughs> Hair's been leaving my head faster than rats off a sinking ship, honey. Oh, that's... You have as much hair today as you did the day I married you. <laughs> oh, nice try, honey. Look at that. 27, that's the count today. 27? Yeah, 27 hairs in that basin. Maybe 28. I don't, there was one possible in there. Well, it's either a long one of mine or a short one of yours. I don't know. <laughs> and they say women are vain. Boy! Is that all you can say? Boy! Well, what do you want me to say, Rob? That I'll love you no matter what? That I'll stick with you through thick or thin? <laughs> so speak. It's a rotten joke and a rotten attitude. Rob, you know, you really are being childish. You can't tell me that you wouldn't hate being married to a baldy. Rob, darling, I love you. Not your hair. If you were going bald, I'd love you bald. It's a terrible moment for a man. It's like a turning point. Come here. What do you want? Come here, bend down. Let's take a look. Well, you don't they pull them out. All right, bend down. <laughs> Rob, your hair is so thick, I can hardly see your scalp in most places. Yeah, but you can in some places, can't you? Only at the part. I don't care what you say, honey. It's coming out. 27 hairs a day. Yes, he was 31. Tomorrow, 50. 100. The next day, honey, don't do that. <laughs> when your hair starts to go, especially a man's, when it starts to go, it's... Boing, boing. And so you're afraid that if you're going bald, and I don't say you are, but that if you are, I won't find you attractive anymore? Well, it's, it's only natural, isn't it? Come here. Does that answer your question? Sure does. 29. <laughs> 30, oh, God. Will you hold still, please? Your arms are getting tired. Who are you knitting this for, King Kong? <laughs> Not knitting anything. Well, what is that? It's a wool bowling ball. <laughs> Can't stand noise. Hey, here's our fearless leader. What's the verdict on the script? Great. Oh, hey, beautiful. Good, good. Then uh -huh. who's the surprise guest? Are you ready? Ricardo Vincente. Oh, I love him. That's no surprise. <laughs> That's right. Half the women in the country love him. Oh. Well, I happen to know his secret. You do? Why don't you use it? <laughs> hey, Rob, Ricardo Vincetti, really? In the flesh. I hope so. Oh, well, then I got a great idea for the sketch. Now, Ricardo comes out on stage, he carries me away, and the both of us are never heard from again. <laughs> you know what Alan wants to do with him? The fact that he is so handsome, we'll use as a, as a monster sketch and really ugly him up. Oh, that's sacrilege. Hey, you want to make him ugly? Just pull off his toupee. Vincetti is... Where's the toupee? 
He wears a rug. Ear to ear carpeting. Oh, I don't believe you. My cousin Ira, the makeup man, he told me about it. Buddy, you're kidding. You know those close up scenes he makes in the movies where the beautiful dame is there with her fingers going through his locks? Yeah. On those days, he don't even show up at the studio, he just sends in his hair. Oh, I'm crushed. Give me that. Thank you, Warden. Well, uh, <clears throat> Sal was so bad that he's uh, bald. Oh, that doesn't make any difference at all. I just happen to be in love with a Brazilian honeydew melon. <laughs> he's trying to make me feel good. You starting? You starting again? Now, look, first of all, you're not going bald. And even if you were, a man doesn't become less attractive just because he's bald. Some men are more attractive. Rob, you just lost your argument. <laughs> Uh, Rob, that sketch for uh, Ricardo should only be about two minutes. Right. Mel, 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 you've uh, you've met Ricardo Vincenti. Is mm -hmm. he uh, uh... as a newborn baby? Well, I don't care. I still like to burp him. <laughs> you see, Rob, there are still women who love bald-headed men. When did you first uh, first realize that you know you were beginning to get bald? When a nearsighted Austrian jumped on his head and tried to hatch it. <laughs> well, I mean, Mel, did it did it come out like in? little clumps or just little by little you were serious this morning you're you're still worried about your going bald aren't you well yeah there's that possibility oh well don't worry about it rob i'll knit you a new head <laughs> start now because the way it's coming out in little clumps every time i comb my hair 28 hairs in the basin this morning oh 28 is nothing what do you mean nothing on him would be a forest <laughs> buddy rob listen just because your hair is falling out does not necessarily mean you're going to be bald well, I hope you're right, man. But believe me, even if you were, there's nothing you can do about it. Ask me, I've tried everything. I've had my head peeled, massaged, aerified, creamed. Nothing helps. You'll have to be so happy about it. <laughs> Why not, Rob? Believe me, I'd love to have your head of hair. You can have it. Follow me around with a net. <laughs> I bet old nosy hair would be thrilled to death if I lost my hair. As long as your head were still attached to it. <laughs> I wish you kept your hair and lost the rest of you. <laughs> Buddy, you better cut that out. One of these days, he's going to turn on you. What's the difference? He's the same on both sides. <laughs> oh, come on now, Rob. Stop worrying. You're not losing your hair. Just run your fingers through and see what happens. You two want me to leave you alone? Oh. A boy of my age shouldn't be getting bald already. You don't have to. I know a guy. Hold it. Hold it. Don't listen to him. The last guy he had sold me a diet for 25 bucks. So? So all I lost was the 25 bucks. Look, this is a legit barber. He got a secret formula that really works. Buddy, none of those things work. The whole thing's hereditary. Ah, hereditary baloney. Look at my hair. And both my father and mother were bald. Can I tell you not to listen to him? Listen, you got to get a haircut anyway, don't you? Well, yeah. All right, so go to her one. If you lose your hair, what's the difference? Well, I don't like to change barbers. You know, my guy knows my hair. He ain't going to know it for long. <laughs> well, you got a point there. It's over on East 48th Street, uh, Dino's Barbershop. Ask for Irwin. He's the owner. Irwin's the owner and it's called Dino's? Who's going to trust a barber named Irwin? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, Rob, let's take a look at the old noggin. Who's your regular barber? Oh, I go over to Vinny's. Hey, good shop, good shop. Of course, you pay a little more for the name and the decorations there, but he's got to it. Oh, they're fine, yeah. yeah. Uh, you take vitamins? Well, yeah, once in a while. Good, good. <laughs> All right, huh? Well, yeah, that's good. <laughs> You've got good fiber and good roots. Well, what do you think? Well, what I say is... Oh. You uh, never dyed this or nothing, did you? No, no. Oh, I didn't think so. <laughs> See, natural oil content. And, uh... <laughs> you have very good resilience, very adequate scalp elasticness. So? So, like everybody else, I think you've been taking your hair for granted. Well, it sure hasn't been intentional. Well, what I mean is you're up in the morning, a fast hot shower, a quick comb and brush, and summertime, lots of wind and sun. That's you, right? Well, yeah. I'll bet you even go on swimming without a bathing cap. <laughs> what a silly one. <laughs> your wife wears one, don't she? <laughs> Brushes her hair 50 times every night, right? Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is she bald? Well, no, but I, I thought that was, uh, you know, hormones and everything. That, too, that's part of it. But the main thing 
is regular serious hair care with a reputable expert. Irwin, you think I'm going bald? You've been asking for it. <laughs> that, but you started your hair care at the right time and the right place. Take a look at this. <laughs> That's the whole story on a nutshell. Oh? All this is going on on your head multiplied by thousands. <laughs> it's kind of weird looking, isn't it? If treated right, that's a beautiful working machine. If not... <laughs> here is the hair. And that's the follicle, the epidermis, and the oil glands, and the papilla. And all together, that's a diagram of a growing hair. <laughs> And these things all together are working around the clock with only one common end. And that is to keep these babies up here from winding up down there. Oh, boy, Irwin, I thought you said I had good roots. Good roots. Lousy papilla. <laughs> Irwin, uh, do you think maybe I need the, the stuff? Buddy told me about the stuff you have. You don't need to whisper. It's not illegal. <laughs> Bob, I'm not a crazy witch doctor. I'm just a plain, ordinary guy who knows more about hair than anybody in the world. Oh. <laughs> Erwin, how, uh, how come you <laughs> My luck, I didn't discover my formula until it was too late to help me. <laughs> what do you think I ought to do, Erwin? First thing, stop worrying. Second, follow these simple, easy-to-follow instructions on hair health and use this. Oh. What's, uh, what's in there, or is that a secret? No secret. The exact quantities, that's a secret. But the ingredients, that just come common ordinary sense. Oh, it's got oil in there, that's for sure. That's right. Lanolin? I'm strictly from the vegetable oil school myself. Vegetable? A hundred percent pure poly unsaturated olive oil. <laughs> what, what, what else is in there, alcohol? Worst kind of poison. <laughs> no, Rob. I had to find a liquid that would purify the scalp. Acidic enough so as to cleanse it, and yet vegetable enough so as to nourish and to blend properly with the olive oil. Oh, what is it? Vinegar. <laughs> Th that's oil and vinegar? Erwin, <laughs> that's a salad dressing. <laughs> To a chef, maybe it's a salad dressing. To me, it's a life-giving elixir. Well, doesn't it smell? No, the eggs take away the whole smell. <laughs> the eggs? You never heard of an egg shampoo? The albuminum gives the hair body. Well, if you have some anchovies and croutons, you can make Caesar salad out of this. <laughs> well, it's kind of silly. Is penicillin silly? Just got penicillin in it? No. But you know how they found penicillin? Growing in a pot of hot water used to cook sweet corn. Oh, that's right, I remember. So, who's to say what, silly? <laughs> well, I guess it's worth a try at that. What do you got to lose? Yeah. Well, then tell me, when I put it on my hair, do I, do I comb it or toss it? <laughs> Honey, I got a, a finished five minutes of massage. <laughs> Boy. Okay, I got two applications of the junk and uh, five minutes of uh, massage. Aren't you going to comb it? Well, not when I'm finished. Well, what now? I still got an exercise to do. <laughs> You're kidding. No, honey. What? I mean, to your head. It stimulates the growth of good hair on your scalp. Then how come your feet are so bald? Oh, <laughs> not funny. Well, darling... Well, I don't make fun of you when you do your ballet exercises. Oh, Rob, you can't expect me to take this seriously. Laura, losing a hair is serious. Well, that may very well be, darling, but none of this nonsense is going to stop it. But, will you wait a minute, honey? I'm losing count. 16, 17, 18... Lettuce and 19, tomatoes. 20. <laughs> What'd you say? Lettuce and tomatoes. I've been sitting here wanting lettuce and tomatoes. Now I know why. It's that smell. <laughs> I said it's not supposed to smell. Mom, I don't care what it's not supposed to. What's in it? Well, 
I don't, I don't know exactly what, what's in it. Oh, very smart. Buddy sends you to a magic barber who gives you something to put on your hair that you're afraid of losing, and you don't even know what's in it? Well, I know kind of what's in it. It's got oil, you know, it's got olive oil in it. Olive oil and vinegar. All right, olive oil and vinegar. But this eggs are supposed to take away the smell. A salad dressing on your hair? Boy, boy, it can't hurt me and it might do me a lot of good. Can you get your money back if it makes your hair fall out? Is that all you care about, getting your money back? Oh, Rob, I've told you 20 times today, I don't think you're losing your hair. But if you think you are, well, then go to somebody dependable, a doctor or a dermatologist, not some friend of Buddy's. You're worried, too. I am not worried, Rob. It just makes good sense. You may be right, honey. If Irwin stuff doesn't work on me, well, I'll go to a doctor. As a matter of fact, I need a checkup anyway. I'll go to a see a doctor, okay? Okay. Now go wash that stuff out of your hair and let's get some sleep. Well, honey, as long as it's in there, I might as well leave it. It could be great. Rob, you are not going to put a head full of oil and vinegar on my good pillowcases. I wasn't planning to. Oh, well, then where were you going to sleep? In the refrigerator? <laughs> I'm supposed to sleep with my head wrapped in a towel. No sense washing my hair now anyway. I would, I'd catch a cold. Would you help me put this on? Oh, really? <laughs> Get it good. You're folding my ear up. I see. Good night, sheep. You watch it, I'll sell you in a slave market. <laughs> saying I'm dreaming. You can't tell me that I'm dreaming. People who are in other people's dreams can't tell them they're dreaming. Why not? Well, because you don't know I'm dreaming. You don't, you don't even know whether I'm asleep or not. I do, too. I saw you go to sleep just last night. You... <laughs> I know what it is. I'm not dreaming. You're having a dream, and I'm in it. <laughs> so how would I know you're dreaming? <laughs> well, how did it happen, honey? That stuff. I know what it is, a severe shock. What kind of a shock did you have? What you, you don't call going bald a shock? <laughs> hey, honey, what am I gonna do? Well, the first thing I do is go to Irwin, tell him you're dissatisfied, and get your money back. Hey, where's my hat? Thanks. Hey, honey. Yes, dear. Can this, is this really a dream? Of course it's a 
a dream, darling. Now you go to Irwin and get your money back. Yeah, my hair back. I'm gonna go get my hair back. <laughs> You're lucky you came just in time. You're not gonna give me any salad dressing. No, I got <laughs> new stuff with the new miracle ingredient, PS138. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. How could we have been so stupid? Not put it on there. Me? Yeah. Feel good? Oh, delicious. Tastes good and is good for you. By the time you get back to the office, you'll have a whole new head. Hey, a ball we've been waiting for you. You know. How do you know? Laura told us. She said it was a dream, but we didn't believe her. Hi, Sheik. Laura, how did you get here? I flew. As a matter of fact, I flew with Irwin. Hi, Irwin. Flew? Of course it's easy to in dreams. And I ran. It's not a dream. It is, too. If it was a dream, you wouldn't have gone to all the trouble to come down here in your jammies. Well, don't worry, Rob. I told you I would knit your toupee, and I did. Look, it's mohair. Yeah, <laughs> but you got no mohair. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, for a dream, it's funny. Listen, and it comes in all colors. Comes in red, orange, blue. You want argyle? I don't need it. I don't need anything. Get your money back. The Irwin gave me some new special stuff with mayonnaise at it. And I can feel it growing right now. That stuff of Irwin's never works. Never works, son. Look at that. <laughs> What's the matter? Is it all messed up? Uh-huh. Rob, you've got a head of lettuce. Lettuce? Can't be lettuce. He's right. Maybe it's cabbage. It is lettuce. How have I got lettuce? If you use salad dressing, you can't expect to grow meatloaf. <laughs> What am I gonna do? I got a guy. A barber? No, a gardener. Thanks for your hair. Mel, that's my hair. That's my hair. Mel, give me my hair back. Give me my Mom. hair back. Mom, Mom. darling, wake give me, up. Huh? What's Mom. the matter? What? Huh? Darling, you were having a bad dream. Yeah, I'm still having it. This is the second time I've awakened in it. Well, it's no wonder, too. You slept with that silly turban on all night. It would give anyone a nightmare. That's just what you said in a dream, honey. Rob, come on in. Let's take that silly turban off and wash your hair. <laughs> Take off that towel. Why? <laughs> because under it, you're either bald or you have a head of lettuce. <laughs> oh. oh, that must have been some dream. You oh, were really? Oh, 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 here goes nothing. Oh. People shed certain seasons just like dogs do. Are you relieved? Well, yeah, especially since he said you'd go bald long before I do. <laughs> Wait, not yet. 20 seconds. Huh? Oh, Rob. Well, the doctor, I haven't had a good night's sleep in so long, the doctor said standing on your head's good for you. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess I could use a good night's sleep, too. <laughs> 